So you all know what happened with 2,3 Mike Zulu intergranular corrosion. That's literally corrosion from the inside out. Usually by the time you discover something like intergranular corrosion, uh, it's because of a catastrophic failure of such. And I, I use that word not lightly. That's why this whole F1 tornado thing, the wing getting banged up, uh, was really a blessing in disguise. We're not taking corrosion lightly. We never really did, but now we're going over the top with things. Now, we use uh, ACF 50, and there's a gentleman named Mike McKnight. He's out of the Atlanta area, just an awesome guy. I've known Mike for probably 10 years now from just always being around trade shows. Uh, ACF 50, they're our, they're our neighbor at almost every single trade show we go to. They're just super people. Uh, Mike comes down from Atlanta to do this for us. Now, this is a task that I assigned to the office dad, Wayne, and you know how that can go sometimes. So uh, I'm going to hand it off and let's go check in on the office dad to see how the corrosion treatment is going. Hey everybody, uh, office dad here, uh, out here with 23 Mike Zulu today. Um, as any of you all know that kind of watched our, uh, our social media last year, 23 Mike Zulu had a pretty bad accident up there in Oshkosh and then of course we had a lot of corrosion issues that we had to work through so now that we got the airplane back It's all fixed and painted up. We've elected to uh, put a corrosion treatment on the aircraft Mike McKnight here with Mc Mike McKnight engineering um, He came all the way down from uh, Atlanta and he's gonna explain exactly what he's gonna do for us and what the products about Well ACF 50 is probably the premier treatment that you can do for an airplane uh, it consists of pretty much uh, the whole internal part of the airplane starting from the engine all the way back to the tail and the floorboard and uh, all the control surfaces as well. It takes uh, probably an hour and a half to two hours to do a typical single engine airplane. The chemical is fogged in. Uh, it goes into every little nook and cranny. And really, that's the only way to put it in. Uh, up at Oshkosh and Sun and Fun, we have people that come by and tell me that they tried to put it in with a garden sprayer or some <laughs> other type of deal. And I usually tell them that you, you'll have more of it on the ground than you do in the airplane. <laughs> that is, it is critical to, uh, to put it in with the right type of equipment and, and fog it in. That's the consistency that you want, consistency of smoke. This is ACF 50. This is the uh, chemical I use to do a treatment. Uh, it has a pleasant smell. It's non-offensive. The chemical itself has five corrosion inhibiting uh, properties, whereas some of the others uh, may have only one. So that's why uh, I believe it's the best on the market. Uh, ACF 50 will, uh, will go down and kill whatever corrosion you have uh, existing and it will form a thin film or thin barrier and basically will expel whatever electrolyte you have that's causing uh, you know the corrosion to come out to the surface. Cool. Basically it will waterproof your airplane. Now how often do you have to do this? Is this a one-time treatment or is it to be done continually? It, it should be done continually okay. but if you ask the factory the people that make ACF 50 they will tell you every two years. Okay. Now, if you are down here in Florida, I would encourage you to look at it every annual because you have a lot of salt water. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly at annual time, uh, have your A&P look at it and determine uh, you know, if, it's, uh, if it's warranted. Absolutely. Absolutely. 